It's just about past 12 noon UK on Monday the 1st of October and this is another video in this series on this elusive mini player from YouTube. So to get cracking I made a video back in March which showed in the yellow box here the mini player on the right hand side and then on two days ago on the 29th of September there is a new button which I'm about to demonstrate which is on the YouTube player itself. Now Here's the thing, um, a couple of days ago Mr. Kasparov here, a user, commented on my video which said he would just got this option but as a button on the player itself and I replied yes me too, thanks very much and that's what the button looks like and the reason I put a picture of snakes and ladders on the top right hand side is because there's a difference in the behaviour which I'm about to demonstrate. So the older version, March 18 onwards, which is the last few months, you play a video, you search, and the auto mini player opens up to the bottom right. However, which I'm about to demonstrate, as two days ago, or yesterday certainly, you can play a video, uh, but you must click the auto mini player button for this to happen. Otherwise, if you search, it will be kicking you off of the video you are watching. How on earth does that make sense? Let's demonstrate. So here I am, look, and I'm in regular YouTube and I'm going to actually start this again because it's important that I get a clean, uh, fresh version of YouTube. You'll notice that I'm um, Chrome, Beta, and I'm coming in on the dark theme. So I'm just going to do a search on my name and uh, a video that I know um, is one of mine, obviously, and I'm going to click something. Now when it opens up here, and I'm going to make sure that it just starts to play, which it kind of like is, and I'm going to, just f to get rid of the distractions on the right hand side, is something on the mini player, which is this one. So if I activate the mini player, which is done in the normal way, so I'm watching my video, I'm listening to my video. If I go back up here again and do another search, and this time on Audacity, he says typing it, then what happens is the moment I hit search, I get those search results and I can have a good old read and see what's going on. So let me show you the other version of this. I'm going to refresh that page because this could be a little bit um, distracting or frustrating to some people. So here we are again. This time I go in in the same sort of way and I do my search. And there I am. I'm going to choose a different video this time. And I'm thinking, OK, that's fine. I'm watching my video. And I'm not quite sure if that's exactly the one that I want. So I go back up here and I do exactly the same as before. And I put in um, the Audacity search. Now watch this. The moment I see what's happened, the moment I've clicked it or hit enter, I've now lost or the mini player has not opened up. OK, so that, that's pretty much it. So just to repeat, what we have to do is, let's say we play a video, if that's what you want to do. And then we go in and we can say, mini player which starts off and then I can start looking around say audacity um, let's do Google Maps instead because I know I've made some videos on that slightly different topic and now I'm thumbing through my videos but I'm still watching the bottom right now there is a slightly different change version to that to finish off here's one of my test channels and this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up YouTube in a dashboard version and the reason I'm going to dashboard really important is because for some reason YouTube opens up presumably with code cookies call it what you want and I've got a white version which is sort of old school and then this time if I do the same thing and then I hit my same search I can say play a video but in this version you'll notice there is no mini player activation button on the bottom right of the menu at all um, this does have its benefits because if you go through and you click the more button what you will actually get is a version of statistics which is very very old school and I need to make a video just detailing that because in example you can find out audience retention and all sorts of different things on other people's video but remember this is a different version in my opinion of YouTube opening up I'm not a Googler or a YouTube staffer. I'm just a person with a curious mind and what you'll find is probably opening up you'll get this version of YouTube where you can choose a dark theme and things like that. So 
Let's finish it because that was all about the March update going through to the October update to the two different versions that you have got. Have a brilliant Monday if it's a Monday when you're watching that. If not, have a brilliant other day of the week.